Girls Frontline 2 is an anime XCOM light tactical two-dimensional gacha game with full 3D graphics developed by Sunborn. It features full cross-platform functionality on PC, on Android, on iOS, and is simultaneously a sequel to Girls Frontline, but a game built to run alongside it rather than succeeding and subsequently retiring it. Rather than going the open world anime RPG route that so many other gacha games have chosen, the studio decided, you know what, let's go ahead here and just improve on what we already have and focus on what we're good at. Evidently that was upsetting, infuriating the entire fan base, as you'll no doubt come to witness. Unfortunately, not everything has been smooth sailing, with many issues arising, complications being had, and what seems to be a rather damaging amount of player resentment found within China. But they have nevertheless been very silent when it comes to global, or any release really outside of China, until recently. Has Girls Frontline 2 been delayed? Has it been canceled? That's what we're here today to discuss. There are so many incredible upcoming gacha games that are scheduled to release over the course of the 2025 to 2026 period, but very few are as anticipated as Girls Frontline 2, and that's because this is part of the already established Girls Frontline franchise, joining Neural Cloud and building upon the already existing lore, the characters, and interconnecting the worlds. The official Girls Frontline Twitter joined Twitter back in June 2015 and seems relatively active with a little shy of 300,000 followers, that is a lot by the way, averaging hundreds to thousands of likes per tweet. Again, that is a lot of interaction from the community. After a little investigation, I, I couldn't really locate a Chinese Twitter page for Girls Frontline 2. I'm assuming at least at present, they utilize this singular Twitter page for all Girls Frontline related activities. There is, however, an official English Twitter page for the original game, Girls Frontline, including Neural Cloud, both of which are also relatively popular. This leads me to believe that an English Twitter page will be opened at some point in the near future, just as many studios tend to do with Japanese releases. Disregarding their Twitter and the official Chinese social media pages, Girls Frontline 2 has absolutely no presence online. Even Googling their name, leaves you with a ton of results from third-party websites. But let's go ahead here and discuss the game and see where we are roughly in terms of a release. That's what we're all waiting for. It's what we're all hoping for. So long as the devs don't continue to make screw up after screw up, which they're struggling with, admittedly. The game launched on December 21st, 2023. It was met with a lot of praise due to how great the characters looked how fun the gameplay was, and overall how high quality the game felt, but that piece was short-lived. Prior to release during September 2023, during the fourth closed beta, there was a severe bug with the installation of the game that led to the deletion of the entire directory that it was installed to, and it didn't create a folder, meaning that if you installed it to, let's just say as an example here, your local C drive, then it wiped everything found within your local C drive. This was bad. <laughs> this was admittedly very bad. But what left players molding was the instance during the story where a character pretended to be another character's girlfriend. Yes, that was what they found major fault with. Chinese players labeled this as a severe breach of their trust, labeling the entire thing as NTR, cheating. Yes, <laughs> fictional characters potentially having previous or future relationships were enough to cause significant outrage and almost kill the game and any hype it might have had before it even launched. Chinese players, dude, they, <laughs> they are hardcore. Before we delve any deeper into this though, Allow me to thank our my incredible patrons over on Patreon and my YouTube channel members. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month and I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. In October, players began complaining about a part in this story where it allowed, and if I translated this correctly, the doles to essentially consume human food, which is kind of cool, attend formal events, and form connections with prolific clientele. Yeah. Um, <laughs> More upset over the dolls 
perhaps engaging in absolutely deplorable activities. We, as the main character, are the only one that is allowed to engage in activities with other people. It's unfair if they can do it. It's unfair if anyone else can do it. They, they should love us and only us. What are they thinking? I, I am outraged on behalf of the Chinese players. They don't even need to be outraged. I am outraged for them. You should be outraged. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, this is quite something. In November, in an attempt to appease players, it was confirmed that the devs would be adjusting both future and past content as a direct result of current player concerns. However, players were left uncertain whether or not that would be enough. In December, content creators were sponsored to cover the game and had a positive spin on things, but merely angered players further, which totally makes sense. Additional issues were found. There was anger over certain models, the event difficulty. In January 2024, Mika were accused of false advertising for their monthly subscription, which apparently included stamina items in the ad, but nothing in game. They confirmed that this was just an error on their part and said, we're sorry. There was a significant issue with racism, but I'm not gonna go ahead and touch on that. It's just <laughs> absolutely absurd. Suffice it to say, the devs panicked over this. They attempted to resolve everything as soon as possible. There were complaints over an outfit and how it related to the story. There was drama over how a character gave the player character a toothbrush, which for whatever reason, players supposedly took it as an insult with players stating that the devs were telling them that they had to brush their quote unquote dirty swearing mouths. Yes. That... Oh, you cannot make this up. I swear to God. And like, dude, it just, it goes on and on. I genuinely cannot believe everything I'm reading. And this is just a fraction of what has happened, but... Admittedly, we'll, we'll stop there because there seems to be new drama every single day in the Girls Frontline 2 community. The reason I wanted to highlight the first few months was purely to show you guys exactly how much shit this game has had to navigate. And this is exactly why the global release has taken as long as it has to push out. Not because the game wasn't ready, but because... <laughs> Every single thing the devs do just seems to upset Chinese players for one reason or another. Chinese players do admittedly seem a little bit soft when it comes to the player character and the female characters interacting with anything or anyone really that isn't him or his cock. It's almost like for whatever reason, Chinese players treat these characters, these female characters, the waifus, in a lot of gacha games actually. This also happened in Blue Archive, this also happened in Nike but like they are a physical property. Like we as global players are bad, but come on, we ain't that bad. These complaints, this unnecessary drama has repeatedly caused the devs to push back the global release of the game and honestly, they still might. However, we do have a little light here at the end of the tunnel. The official Japanese website has officially gone up with a Japanese release on the horizon, which means global should be soon to follow. Japan and Global tend to release relatively close to one another, which means that Japan is likely to receive the game at some point, roughly in 2024, at least that is what we're all speculating here, and Global might as well. If not, will inevitably receive the game at some point in 2025. But the most important takeaway from all of this is that the other regions of the game are not dead. It's still coming and they are making moves to finalize a worldwide release. Is Girls Frontline dead? No, absolutely not. Is it delayed? Yes, it has been repeatedly delayed and continues to be due to Chinese players. But we have additional regional versions coming soon, including Global, so do not lose hope. As for when we can expect the next major update for Global or a test phase for Global, Honestly, probably late 2024, maybe early 2025. I know that's not something you want to hear, but I really wouldn't expect them to have a version of the game ready for release before then, especially before appeasing the masses in China, which is fine because Wuthering Waves released just last month and the Zone Zero just released and Azure Familia is also releasing very soon. We have a lot to play. Now, if Girls Frontline 2 is not a game that is of any interest to you, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley.